Hey! What's going on? So, I was about to say, you know, now that Twitch lets me stream at 10,000 KBBS and it makes my stream look way nicer, it's going to be hard to go back to my older streams that are running at 6,000 KBBS. And then I looked over at OBS. And I saw that I was, in fact, streaming at 6,000 KBBS, which meant I was not on the right OBS. I was on the um, OBS Classic instead of uh, OBS Enhanced blah, 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 blah uh, thing. Oh, well, he gets that better OBS. I mean, he can just ask for it. You go to a website and you punch in your your Twitch shit and it and then it says it's it goes, are you cool? If so, come here. We'll give you a cool Twitch thing, and then you go download it. What's my bit rate? Ten thousand. You have to be Twitch verified. Oh yeah. No, I'm in the. It, they send you a, to a Discord that that uh, enables you and your channel to to use the new OBS uh, um, version uh, that is just for this. But um, there are not that many people in there. There's like there's like 300 people in there. So like verification isn't the issue. It's it's clearly only being sent to people who hit certain milestones. Nobody can do audio good. I have I think I do okay. Um I've told the story before, but I vividly remember Paige watching me fuss over this for like weeks and be like, Pat, no one cares. And I'm like, I care and later other people will care. And she's like, okay. Um and then she's seen other people's streams that don't have good audio and she's like no yeah no way you were right people care <laughs> your audio and max is the best one so it's funny because max put up this massive tutorial about how he gets good audio um and, and it and it's complicated i can't replicate max's audio setup it, it is beyond my level of technical expertise um and I think the funniest thing is, is that the mixer that I'm using right now, um, I didn't, I didn't set up the equalizer. It's, it's, it's stock settings. I just made sure that it sounds right. Anywho, let's keep thanking the people. Zero Turia kicked in a sub. Thanks, man. More Joryu Jazuma adventures. How's it going, Pat? I'm juggling P3 reload and an LAD8 with a side of Tekken 8. So fun time. It's a great question. If Atlas does do a P4 remake, how would you feel if they changed the English voice acting cast like P3 reload? Um, I would like them to. Um... I would like them to. Um, and the reason for that is, is because they di already did that. Chie, Kanji, and Teddy all changed. Um, also, I really don't like Chie's second voice actor. I, d I do not. I think it is way worse than Aaron Fitzgerald way worse um in the event of p4r alex lee should voice yosuke oh yeah he should yeah he should alex would be a great yosuke alex would be a great yosuke yeah 
Yeah, he would. Yeah. Mm. General SC Patton kicked in and stuff. Thanks, man. Haven't even played Hell Divers yet, and it has invaded my subconscious. Had a dream that I got time skipped into a dystopian future and had to file for citizenship, which involved a drug test for various other things, many of which were totally innocuous, like water. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Blastio Boots kicked in a sub. Thanks, Blastio. You're right about the ideological pitfall. The COVID anti-vax thing is a kind of fascism. The idea that people who get sick and die are losers. I'm deserving and on the winning team, so I won't die as long as the losing team loses. Oh, yeah. I'm just built different. And then when a doctor is like at their hospital bed and be like, sir, you are not in fact built different. Then they start to have a little, little freak out. It's an entire generation of people going, nah, I'd win to a fucking invisible bacteria or virus. <laughs> you know, I need to find, I need to percentage of Americans. Who believe they could defeat a bear on arms. Could you beat a bear in a fight? 6% of Americans said they believe they could beat a bear in a fight unarmed. Uh, <sighs> Ligma Lamenta kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Ligma. Fun fact Helldivers 2 is running on a dead engine. Uh oh. Ooh. This is no longer being updated or, a or accessed. Called Autodesk Stingray. Oh, I remember Autodesk Stingray. There's an article about it on ADLV that goes into more detail. Interesting shit. Oh, that's funny. Same engine as Magica. Yeah, that makes sense. People are going, but why? It's because what they, it's what they know. That's why. That's the answer. Though it's uh, it's very interesting because um. They've described, people are like, add more servers to Helldivers. And one of the devs is like, no, you don't understand. Um, even if we added more servers, it wouldn't make any difference. It's getting like, there, there are points of failure in their back end where shit just jams up at certain scaling levels. So the internet nerds on their team basically have to work very hard fast mr baconator says so it's unfixable oh nothing's ever unfixable it's just hard twitch legal department kicked in sub says we doing crimes in here every day twitch legal department crime of being this handsome AJ Cherenkov kicked in a sub. Thanks, AJ. Who's doing that crime? Shut up. AJ says, turning off my copium pump. Shadow of the Earth Tree, April. Soonest, probably June. Um, Maybe I'm insane, but this will live on and make me look smart if, uh, if it's not. But does anybody get the feeling that the Shadow of the Earth Tree trailer happening 25 minutes after the Nintendo Direct implies that Elden Ring is coming to the Nintendo Switch? I'm just saying. 
and Matt F8. Oh my god, it's Matt Fate. Having a time of it. Having a time of it, brothers. I've read that name like a thousand times. I've said it at least a couple hundred. Holy shit. So Matt Fate kicked in a sub. Hey, Pat, I hope Paige and the babies are doing well. A coworker of mine is actually shorter than you. He was 148 centimeters, which is 410. He was three centimeters away from being considered legally a little person, which irked him because he could get a disability money if he tried. My sister's that height. My sister is also like a centimeter or two off from being classified as a little person. And she's just short. She's just short. She's not disabled. She's just short. <laughs> Chubby Pencil kicked in a sub. Thank you. Just got back from two-week vacation in Honolulu. Hey. Crazy how close they got it. I was able to recreate my walk from my hotel to cheeseburger in Paradise and Game. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome as hell. King Dwin says, I'm just short. It feels like a disability. The people who lived in our house before us and remodeled some of the cabinets, um, I met uh, I met the, the man of the house. Uh, he's a nice guy because, you know, I'll call him and I'll be like, hey, man, you, you're still I'm still getting his mail. Right. And he'll come by. Um and I meet and I see him and I curse that motherfucker because he's tall as shit. He's like six foot something. And then I'm like, wow, those shelves in the kitchen I can't use make a lot more sense now. <laughs> oh, man. Get a stepladder. I'm probably going to have to get a stepladder. Tito the Gaming God and Ms. Rogue Merc subscribed. Thank you. And Miguel kicked in five bucks. I just want to say I'm addicted to infinite wealth. I'm already halfway through New Game Plus on hard, and I'm going to play it again on Legend difficulty. Well, I'm glad you're having fun, man. Glad you're having fun. All right. You guys give me two seconds. I'm going to go pee and get some water. I'll be right back.
Let's go. Aloha. That's right. Hey. I can't figure out what headphones to use. These headphones. Can I save? Hold on a second. Let me read that. Mr. Ms. Rogue Mercs uh, uh, kicked in 500 bits. Pat, can you save Cure You by staying on Dodonko Island for a year and sequence breaking his cancer? Unfortunately, time does not pass correctly in the Dodonko universe. Motherfucking Saren is playing Helldivers. You motherfucker, Saren. You think you're so good because you're playing Helldivers and I'm... I'm not playing Helldivers. Well, good for you. That seems like you're having fun. Everyone is having fun. I know that you, I can skip the queue by joining him in the friends list, but that's cheating, isn't it? What the fuck? Why is the game small? You guys couldn't see it, but the game started up, like, in windowed mode. Weird. Alright, let's, uh... Uh, what's my latest save? Yeah. This. All right. So, gentlemen, when we were gone, I ran around, and do you know what I did? I I went and did every single bingo thing on the map. And I switched my classes around a little bit. So, Ichiban is a it's back to Samurai, Kunoichi. I felt like Football Man would make sense for Dachi and Eric with the goddamn thing. Uh, also, hey, Saren, what up? Why am I calling you out? Because it's hilarious, Saren! But also, you guys want to find out about their, their fucking personality? Check it out. She loves coconut oil, man. Loves music. She once ordered the wrong size of food. She loves honey. She knows all about cactuses. Anyway, let's go down to Revolve. Um, so, by the way, I put Tomozawa back in the party instead of Nanba because Tomozawa and me are, are now really good bros. Right? Me and Tomi? Level 4 bros. Namba, for some reason, only level one bro. And I cannot bro him up. Right? I'm not allowed. Adachi, on the other hand, I could run around and bro up. Right? So. Time to put our feet up. So, you know, they, they get stronger. You know. Uh, Eric. Eric Tomazawa's Drink Link is one of the most depressing fucking stories I've ever encountered in my fucking life. It hurts me in my chest. I have been in and seen situations that are just like they're not. I've not. I haven't been in his situation, but I've seen 
I mean, like, like, you know, like, it didn't work out, but it, but it didn't work out for bad reasons. And then they're there. At, ah, you know, like, oh, it sucks. I've hey, seen other people me. have a real bad. Oh, oh, sit down, get a drink. Have I got a story for you? Oh, do you now? Oh, I might be in the mood for a story. Yeah, well, here we go. <sighs> Things move fast, all of a sudden. Don't freak out. You ready for this? <laughs> You're really hyping this up. Marie's boyfriend and I got to talking, like just him and me. He told me about her. Yeah? What? How'd you manage that? Well, first, Marie's friend gave me some information on him after I asked. His name's Kondo, and he's a professor, I guess. Marine bullshit, you know. But... I just got played so bad. I just got played so bad. I'm literally sitting here going, this is like the most like real depressing story and it hurts my heart. And then I get slammed with the fact that this entire thing is just the setup for a this sparks joy pun. ocean stuff uh, you know guy rakes it in apparently he's like some top fish guy been on tv and everything whoa that's pretty impressive huh you think so i don't know man you can't tell someone's character from some fancy title okay so people who don't get it marie kondo was uh or is rather a design lady who uh invented the phrase this sparks joy and her entire philosophy was about removing clutter from your life. Basically, you go around your house and you go, you look at items throughout your house and you go, but does this spark joy? And if it doesn't spark joy, you throw it away because it's just cluttering up your life. And... The absolute absurdity here is that Marie Kondo had a baby. And when she had a baby, she was like, yeah, fuck all that shit. Because, hey, guess what? When you have a baby, your house gets filled with bullshit. Baby toys are all over the fucking place. The, the pen, the, the high chair, you know, <laughs> the diaper bag is just in the... You can never, ever fucking, you know, keep it perfect. And so we have a character named Marie with her condo, who's a flashy rich guy, who didn't have a baby. Like. Sure, fair enough. So I waited. Kondo is a busy man, but I got him alone, started a chat. Get this. I used a fake name. Apparently, he's new to Hawaii, so I offered to show him around. How the hell did you manage all this? Uh, you know, I had to do it, for Marie's sake. You know, I owe it to her to see what type of guy he is. All right, so uh, you pretended to be a stranger, uh, spoke to Kondo, and gave him a tour of the city? He had no goddamn idea. I said I'd buy him a drink, and he came along without a second thought. That was slick, bro. That's nice work, Tommy. You played it cool. Right? I mean, drinking with Marie's new boyfriend was kind of sickening, but yeah, I managed. While I'm sh sure it was worth it. So what happened? Kondo give you anything useful? Mm, yeah, I told him I went to the same college Marie did, and then my name's Thomas. I mentioned the place real casually, so he goes, oh. That's my girlfriend's old alma mater. Oh, I get it. So he made Marie the subject That's of the good. conversation. That's good. That's smooth. 
Yep, Kondo said he met Marie in a bad place, just after she left Hawaii. She was working some touristy jobs before she became his research assistant. I mean, actually, Marie always did have a thing for the ocean. I guess, yeah, it doesn't make sense, huh? So, one thing leads to another, and Kondo falls for her. <sighs> they dated for a year, and then they got engaged. Okay. End of the day, I couldn't find a single flaw to exploit in the guy. Oh. <laughs> I'll say this much, though. For some pointy-headed professor, he's a fucking doofus. If I had uncovered some nasty flaw, I might not have been able oh, to stop worse. myself from kicking his ass. Hey, come on. Don't say that. You know, right. Because I realized that I hurt Kondo, the one I'm really hurting is Marie. I mean, the fact of the matter is, I'm an ex-con. Nothing but Yamai's goon until just recently. Society is never going to look at Kondo and me in the same way. That's true. Seems like my only option is to back down. Hope for Marie's happiness from afar. That's so sad, man. From afar, uh, she might be hard to avoid. You're sharing the same city. Yeah, that brings me to the twist. Hmm? In just a few days, they're leaving Hawaii. For good this time. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'll never see Marie again after that. Oh, shit. Kondo says Marie confided in him. According to her, she has too many bad memories haunting her here. And Kondo's such a moron, he doesn't even know what she's talking about. Well, not if she didn't Marie's tell him, man. Marie's happy life here died with us. She couldn't even bear to say goodbye to me. <laughs> Fuck it all, then. If she needs to forget me... Let her. If that's what it takes for her to find peace. End of the road. So concludes How the is this not the last me. one? It's okay to cry, buddy. Tell me. If you need to let it out. Style? And Bob. I'm, I'm not gonna cry in the bar. <laughs> I got some dignity. I know. <laughs> Don't worry. It's all good. Real men aren't afraid to cry. Oh, I cry all the like time. All oh, man. I'm so fucking emotional. Together, I promise. It's like the I got my period, man. Again. I just got to make sure I'm out of sight. Oh, yeah. I That's guess probably so, huh? not. Worst comes to worst. The thing that I'll I should have said. I'll pull a fake name again. Good old Thomas. Innocent drinking buddy. Sheesh, that'd be <laughs> one hell of a dance. I'd never be able to keep a straight face in your position. Ah, it's too late now. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. One more toast, Tommy. To Marie's happiness, wherever it takes her. How can I possibly say no to that? Okay, hold on. Power Proto Man says Pat sees a small dog sneeze and he starts bawling. Okay, dude. I, I, oh, okay. So I went to the post office today and I was walking up to the post office and there was an old lady and she was walking a tiny little foo foo dog. And I was like, oh, who's this? And she was like, this is Carmella. And I was like, oh, who's a good girl? Oh, and I almost cried a little bit. So shut up. Go where you have to, Marie. Leave the memories behind. I'll be happy for you. I am nearly 40 years old, and I have never gotten past that feeling of <gasps> can I pet your dog like like a small child <laughs> bro let me tell you though hey 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 let me tell you though if I'm out with Zangief on a walk if I'm out on Zangief with a walk and he's he's you know he's walking around and he's breathing and being heavy and then other people right other people they see the dog and they go oh what a handsome boy that is and i and you know what i do i open up my heart and i fucking bless them with the light of christ and i go he's really friendly you can pet him if you want and the fucking light from the fucking heavens and the Christ Almighty hits them and they go, oh, and then they, they smush his face. And I'm like, I've done my good deed for the day. I've done it. I've done my good deed.
dude being the person who's like oh you can pet him if you want and seeing the look on people's face they lose it they oh you're so good you're such a hero hey dachi are you sad and old hey dachi about that ask you had for me earlier no good info has been coming in lately oh is that right I'm not surprised honestly i wasn't really expecting much don't be so down. I'll ask around some more. Yo, sup, fellas? What were you two talking about? Ah, nothing much. Just asking the bartender for a little favor. Hey, thanks again, barkeep. I didn't mean to ask while you were busy, though. Don't worry about it. Just relax. Enjoy the drinks. Somebody asked how is he still so jacked so when he's old? Some old people favor? are just like that. Or is it something you can't tell me? Nah, it's no secret. I knew someone who supposedly moved to Hawaii a long time ago, see? I heard they opened a jewelry shop here, so I asked the bartender if he could look into their whereabouts. Judging by how things went earlier, I'm guessing he couldn't find them? I don't even know if they did open up shop. Honestly, I've just been grasping at straws. Uh, but even if you didn't ask the bartender, couldn't you just reach out to the person yourself? Well, the last time we met was 20 years ago. Oh, gotcha. Uh, let me guess. That acquaintance of yours is one pretty lady? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I knew it. Yep, figured. Oh, get you a dodgy son. Still got game, huh? <laughs> uh, you got the wrong idea, man. There's uh, too much of a generation gap for us to be. Oh, that's not like true. That. You can be creepy. Oh, yeah? Well, back when I was a cop, she was involved in this one case. A robbery took place at her father's gem shop 20 years ago. She was just a high school student at the time. A jewel heist, huh? Who were the perps? Three-man team. We caught him the day after, of course. The day and after. And recovered the stolen jewels, too. Wow, damn. Gotta hand it to the Japanese police. I'm guessing you were assigned to that case. Right. Just one of many investigators. And now that same girl from way back then has a shop of her own here in Hawaii? Well, that's what the rumor says. Uh, so I figured, since I'm already here in Hawaii, I Man, there's I something check up on that her. See how she's doing. I'm missing here. You think she still remembers you? That, I'm not too sure. And the only way to find out is by meeting her. I'll help you look for her shop. Oh, yeah? Well, in that case, I'll help you look for her shop. Maybe it was fate you came all the way here to Hawaii. Nah, don't worry, man. It's fine. Seriously, you're busy enough as it is. And the bartender's already looking into things for me, so uh, I'll be all right on my own. Well, anyway, good luck finding that shop. You got any leads to make the search any easier? Oh, only her name. Akiko Manabe. Not many Japanese folks selling jewelry here in Hawaii, so I probably have enough clues to go on. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that Why said, does the uh, name Manabe sound familiar? Shop, but Things didn't go so well. And since I don't even know for certain in the first place, I'd rather not get my hopes up. That's why I'll just take my time investigating. Gotcha. Sounds like a solid plan. All right, then. How about a toast to Akiko san's success? I can't remember. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Yay. All right. We are friends now. Let's go beat up Yamai. Kanji Manabe? What is that? Hmm. Don't forget to check for new inheritance slots. Damn it, you're right. In fact, I think there's... Oh, we can do inheritance slots right over here. Who will Yakuza 9's bartender be? Mine. Take a walk, asshole. Mine. For sure. Did I grind off stream? No, I didn't. No, in fact, what you're right, what you're watching right now, as a result of Baby Time, is um, 
the fact that uh, I am barely playing the game off stream at all. Like, barely. Forgot about this mega Roomba. God damn it. Wait, is it item? Oh, coffee machine. Hold on. We gotta inherit some shit. Damn. Now. Looks like, uh, they're all good. Let's go. Each bot has a rainbow slot? That's true, but he, I don't have any rainbow moves. To put into it. What do you want? Hold on. Ah, oh, fuck! Holy fuck. I'm up. Ready as I'll ever be. That rules! I did such a good job. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. Going the wrong way. We Man, there's garbage in the streets. You would never see garbage back out in Japan. Alright! Do it. 26, 3 plus. Got it. Help now. Carry you, we're coming for you, buddy. Tell me, Kiryu sounds probably pretty well guarded, right? Yeah, if you ask me, best bet's the top floor. Only Yamai's confidants can get in there. And I've only been up there a handful of times myself. You've had run ins with our buddy Yamai before, right? What's he like? He's a prick. He's tough as nails, that's for sure. To quote Auntie Donna, Yamai, you need to stop being such a cunt. More than anything, it's just plain eerie. You never know what that guy's thinking. It's the eyes. You don't get a stare like that without some crazy story behind it. Regular devil, huh? Guess we better watch our backs then. Yeah, but there's more. All right, guys. He's got some kind of weird charm. A loyal bunch like them's hard to come by. I see. Sounds like we showed up in the nick of time. You sure did. I love how fucking <laughs> stupid and shitty okay, they all look rumble. in Hawaii. They're all just wearing tourist bullshit. <laughs> Guess what, motherfuckers? Oh, yeah? huh? Bees! Let's go. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Here I come. B. Oh, fuck. Oh, never mind. Destroy. Hell yeah. Look who it is. 
Little Pansy Tomizawa in the flesh. Little Pansy Tomizawa is level 28 like now, like bitch. Like you got any business coming back here. Hey, slow your roll, pal. I'm not stoked about it either. But for all I'm not, I at least know one thing. I'd never I used to have that watch! <laughs> well said, Tommy. That's no, Cassio! You want to be brave? We'll put you to the test. Okay, I'm up. Okay, guess what? Bees! Wow, Kunoichi is incredible. Let's go! Kunoichi and Samurai seem like by far the strongest classes. They're also cool. Who do I add it in me? Moving up in the world. Which way to the top? Elevator leads straight there, but we're sitting ducks. Better find the staircase. All right, lead the way, Tommy. Scattering of flowers is the other good one. Thanks for the heads up. Find some stairs. Oh, this is a dungeon, man. My fair lady! That's real! So, their hideout's the theater itself, huh? Don't see that every day. Not like there's customers. No way with how they treat the place. Yeah, they've been using it a while now. It's basically their playground. Never know when they'll show up. Watch your back, yeah. Bro, I... I just realized. And... Wait, no, it's gone. Shit! It left my brain. I'm sorry. Oh, no, wait, it's back. I was like, how could they possibly make a cast as good as the, the Yakuza 7 cast? And I'm like, Eric Tomazawa, he's such a pussy. And then I'm like, yo, Eric! Yo, Eric! <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than just yelling out, yo, Eric. There they are. Hey, guys. You know why variety tour is about to get, begin. Stay a while and enjoy the show. <laughs> Dude, this, uh, this, this B shit is incredible. I love it. Nice. Man, these AOE abilities I got are incredible. Good job, Adachi. What the fuck is this? Well, I'm waiting. Oh, you break yourself. I think I got him. Yeah. Oh fuck. You want to go? Let's go. Gotcha. Oh wait, what? That's bullshit. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh come on. Break. Fuck yeah, good kick, buddy. Oh, I didn't realize those guys were there. Okay, I'm up. What the hell? Why is that so fast? I'm up. 
Nailed it. I think I'm getting better at this. Nice. Hell yeah. Good job, Mama. You're learning how to do uh gun stuff with a fake gun. They're fucking airsoft guns, man. Fucking shit. I might Should I open it? Oh, should I? I only have 27 keys. A dripping. Wait a second. Oh, it's got police tape. That means it's impassable. My mistake. This kind of reminds me of that Alan Wake level. The theater. I wonder why. Oh, shit! Bunch of assholes, you're all dead. Where do you even get the bees? Let's go! You know, like... Where do you get the bees? Nice attack there, buddy. Where do you get the bees? This is a question for Pat. Nailed it. We're in full swing. Go, go down, Ichi. There's probably yeah, there was. There were shoes down there, and a pipe, and some, and a fucking diet coke for you to get. Get out of my way, you old bitch. You know, I was playing Persona 3 Reload earlier today, and they just, at some point, just go, Hey, do you want to level up your old party members to the new party level? And I went, sure, and I was like, man, this fixes a lot of problems the original game had. Like, a lot. Like, a dramatic amount. Because once you, once you had not used a party member in, like, two months in Persona 3, you, 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 would, you could never use them again because they'd never catch up. They would never catch up. In this game's New Game Plus, that actually becomes a massive issue. How so? Aren't you all in New Game Plus? Aren't you completely maxed out? No, but it's New Game Plus. Okay, I'm up. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, Tommy. Grinding past 75 is a massive pain. Oh, I see. Because Gene was running around level fucking 99 on his stream. It's funny. Hey, I'm even stronger now. Conversion attempts when you get too drunk at the gay bar. What? You might have just through here, huh? Yeah, but it's locked. Locked up tight. Hmm. No, it's a drag, but we need to find the master key. Should be somewhere on this floor. You mean no. somewhere? Well, I've only been up here t once or twice. Come on, you tell us that this now. Hey, arguing won't get us anywhere. Just have to look for it. I saw that uh, that 3D model of Cloud with like pretty 
girl makeup on, but wearing the soldier outfit. Sorry, the guard outfit. And I saw this via page retweeting the quote retweet of, man, they were passing him around like a blunt. Who the fuck are you? Were you guys sitting around talking about your feelings in the dance studio? What the fuck was this? Dude, this move is incredible! You throw bees at people! Get him, Adachi! That's all that's it. It's got it's fucking dragon engine. Ah! What's up? Oh man, he's fucking dead. Shit talking? Obvious lies! Tommy didn't fall for that shit. Bet you are, girl. Interesting. Ah. Ah. <gasps> oh! That's great! <clears throat> Dumbass! And you ever heard of knocking? Oh, that's a bummer, dude! They're having a birthday party! Is that why they're all drinking? Oh, that's funny. You're in it now. Don't get caught. Here we go. All right. Care to dance? Be honored. Bro, Vichpon doesn't hit that at by the end. He's like a, 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 dumber than Kiryu. Now that ready, I'll ever be. Like for real. Let's get it done. Don't look now. brain damage? Listen. I got something wrong with my brain. I got laid. Pat, my wife also has brain damage. Listen. Uh. Well, I got no follow up for that. I love her very much. There. What's 
up, guys? It's you. This is your mind's room. Have a little respect, will ya? Look at these cool fucking posters on the back. This that guy's got a fucking shotgun. Cool. Thanks for moving to the right spot. Ready as I'll ever be. Got you now. Well, you you suck shit, dude. Come on, get good. Yeah, one down. That's a great line read. I love that. Mad, he said. Yeah! Dude, this follow-up shit is great. It feels great that like the whole party is just we're all working together as a team. Like a, like actually a team, not like a bunch of people separately acting. You know what I'm saying? It's great. Should I open it? Got it. A crowbar. Who would a crowbar equip on? Oh, wait, what? Wait a second. Is the crowbar the master key? Hero class? Up. I think that's our key. Hey, man. Yeah, without a doubt. Let's go open up that door. The triangle on the gear menu to look at weapons. Yep, sure enough. It's a hero weapon. That's great. You really. We re they are actually not so different, you and I in that they use the same basic class. Yamai is the hero class also. He's just hero class dark. All right, it's open. This way, guys. Oh, I can't go back there. Oh, shit. Should I open it? Sweet. Yeah, open it, man. Poetry. Oh, that's cute. All right, let's see if there's any gear that we can... Uh... I'm wearing a lady's fur coat. Well, the optimize button uh, fucking owns, dude. Wait a second, did it pull my fucking... It didn't. Oh, we're gonna get a fucking series of battles. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, it's gonna be a series of battles, guys. Oh, yeah, they both kicked it! Huh? What's yeah. this? Looks like a cabaret on its last legs. Adachi-san. Namba. That would be a my. Ah, get a load of him. Still, digs he's like, look at me, custom. I'm the shit. Look at my fat old bitches. Wasn't sure you'd make it up here. Give yourselves a hand. Where's Kiryu-san? Oh, 
So that's why you barged in, is it? He'd better be okay. Uh, Where are his hands? What was that? Oh, Tomizawa's tagged in too, huh? Little Tiger's got some scruff strutting back in here. Then again, maybe I'm just a joke to you now. Actually, I'd say the Tomi you knew is long gone. Now, give us back Kiryu-san. Come on. As if flapping your lips is all it'd take. Don't forget, you used to be one of us. You want to get your way, you gotta step up to the plate. Oh, great. Life lessons from Hawaii's resident psychopath. And plenty of bark from Kiryu's little fan club. Let's just hope you've got some bite, eh? I am madly yeah, in love with we got this. You covered. Like inverted Yakuza <laughs> oh, one. Relax. Yeah. Why don't you just leave him be? That's right. Forget him. Uh, You're so uh, mean. <laughs> I'll finish it quick, ladies. <laughs> Oh, man. I love this guy. He's the best. Oh, he's so cool. You know what that is? You know what that that was a reference to? Ghost is on each arm. Confident bastard, ain't he? Hey, this is your my turn. Safe to say he's got the advantage. That was a reference to Kuze. Because he uses the crowbar to defend himself from Ichiban's arms. Whereas Kuze uses it to attack. We're friends now. Let's do it, okay, let's get crazy. Ready as I'll ever be. Fuck it. Yeah, Kuze used a pipe. But you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I can't. Ooh, can I not block that? Oh, hell yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh, fuck! All right, one down. Oh, this is going a lot better than last time. Oh, shit! Come on, Shabon. Right, let's, let's get it. Let's get it done. Who's that? Break yourself. I shall strike you down. All right. What's her agility up at? Whoa! Yeah, can't defend that. That's crazy. Time to go all out. Here we go. 
fight on. Care to dance? Be honored. I take that, you asshole. Hey now, don't let him get the better of you. You're my son, for you. He trains. You ask for it. Playtime is over, motherfucker. <laughs> this is a surprise. I was hoping the dragon would have more teeth. Uh, yeah. Holy shit. What, you think I'm stupid? Let's see if it'll work against projectiles. Nope. Sup? Let's get it done. Break yourself. Oh, fuck! Damn! Everyone, get some barbecue! Wow, I love that Yamai is Kir is um, Ichiban's Majima. I love it. Don't tell me you're done. Be a real shame. That's kicking time. Well, I'm waiting. I fucking Open love it. Up. I shall strike you down. Go bad shit. Yeah, come at me, bro. You have you been agitated? The way he oh man, he's so creepy. All right. Come on, get Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Like, he's crazy in the opposite way of Majima. And, like, Majima never drank. Ever. Drank a zero? No, never. Shut up. My point is he didn't get drunk. Yamai is literally being powered by alcohol. Think I'm getting stronger. Onto the next one. Think I'm getting better at this. 
Hey, I'm even stronger now. Hell yeah. Nama's there too. I'll ask you one now kiss. more time. Here you son. Where is He's he? He's in Yokohama. <laughs> and if I say I don't know. And I'll make it so you do know you my. Have you Tomizawa. noticed that Tommy's like the wild card of the Choice gang now? Yours. But you know what you got to do. Or do you want to be disgraced even more? Like he's the crazy Grace and I split ways a long time ago. You know why? As the American? Oh my god. You know who Eric is? Because he's American? He's the crazy white boy hanging out with like the foreign gangsters. And you go, man, what that guy do? That he's hanging out with these dudes. He must be crazy. Oh. Now then, <laughs> you gonna take your swing or what? To me. Break his legs. Beat his legs. That's enough. Here you son is safe and sound. Wait, what? Hey. That said, if you lay another finger on the boss, I can't guarantee he'll stay that way. How about that? You really do have a way with people, don't you? Now there's a keeper. Man, what I wouldn't give for a girl like that. What, like it's too late? If you're serious, I say go for it. <laughs> you better show up at the wedding. What? Where? I'm coming in. We have guests. Why is there a fucking scientist? Oh, it's a doctor. What am I fucking stupid? Oh my god. Why did I fucking. Oh, here you son. This fucking game's cutscene dimension is screwing me up he so bad. So, uh, you've been looking after him? I just did what the boss asked me to do. Apparently, he used to look up to this guy way back when. Yamai did? He's been asleep ever since they Wait, Yamai's in. for real? He's not too serious, so I'd wager it's something internal. Figures. If anyone's gonna push himself, it's <laughs> what? you, son. First aid is about all I can do at this time. Now take your friend and get out of here. I swear, if I'd known about all this, I'd have called off the fight. Yeah, though he is still chasing after Akane son. Is right? he just magic? What, what the fuck? Giving up on that, he's still trouble. What the fuck? Is, what the hell? Yamai, what's your plan <laughs> once you find Akane son? Akane? Oh, you mean the old bat? Hey, have a little respect, will you? Are me and Yamai gonna be yeah, best friends? Going after her. Because the entire Hawaiian underworld's on the hunt. I got no idea what she's worth, <laughs> but I'll find out once I get my hands on her. That's really all? I've been in Hawaii for a while now, but it's hard making yourself known. The Barracudas and the Genja we're not fit to lick their boots. So if I can get my hands on their precious little prize first, I'll have a big cushy seat at the negotiating table. Negotiating? You act like it's a business deal. It is, it is a business. Really, don't you see you're just using Akane and Lani's lives to get what you want? Bitch, are you stupid? Everyone's on the prowl. And you don't scramble like that without good reason. <laughs> By the way, who's this Lonnie you mentioned? Oh, you fucked it. 
<laughs> I'm glad you asked. Means maybe you still have a heart after all. Let me explain. Whether you believe it or not, well, that's up to you. Really? We're really? Really? So, Polly Connor's golden boy is the big kahuna out Where the here. Fuck is and this going? He's after this little Lonnie snot, eh? Boring story like that. It must be true. Y you mean you believe me? Tomizawa switched sides. Kiryu's got your back. <laughs> you don't seem like too great a liar. Top of that, I now know why they're going nuts enough to chase some bird around town. Hmm, I'll leave the lady be. I'm not so strapped for cash I need to prey on a kid. Huh. Once Kiryu's awake, pack up and get lost. You stay on Are we friends now? For good. We never see each other again. Deal. Yamai, I just have one more thing. Mm hmm? Kiryu-san pulled through, and for that, you have my thanks. I owe you one. <sighs> I had nothing to gain. You don't get glory from kicking a corpse. No, you're a better man than I took you for. Well, not that much better, but it's something. Aw, sure. Keep thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they like Wait, what? Wh what? To me Kazuma Kiryu is family Oh my god, this game must make Uncle no Kaz. sense <laughs> If Oh, man. Save the puppy! Where do you live? Hmm? You don't have a home, kid? The orphanage. I snuck out. You live in an orphanage? Wait, kid. <gasps> hey, there she is! Get the girl! After her! Don't let her get away! <laughs> Stop. Hey, stop. Oh, wow. She's just a girl. Keep your hands off her. <gasps> oh, man, he's going to kill some people. Cure you, son. You're safe now. We're looking after you. <sighs> Kasuga. Man, I really love the games in which you get a really good ex reason for Kiryu to be like, I'm going to beat everyone's ass. What happened? We talked things out with Yamaya. Turns out, he didn't know anything. He was only looking for Akane-san to get a leg up on the competition. No other new info, though, I'm afraid. Even now, Akane-san and Lonnie are still out there. I see. We had a cool fight, though. Please, leave the rest of this to us. Hmm? Hear you, son. Think about it. You can't keep pushing yourself to the edge like that. <sighs> Sorry to make an ass of myself. But I knew what I was getting into. I'm all good now. Still with the tough guy act? How are you in any way all good, huh? Here you, son! Look here, I used to be a nurse, so I want you to keep that in mind and listen to me. I know I don't have much time left. There's just something I need to do. You mean rescuing Lani and Akane-san? You don't have a chance in hell. What? Go back to Japan and focus on recovering. Anything else... Recovering? Dude, Kasuga he's got metastatic terminal cancer. Uh, my mission has always been to secure Akane-san as quickly as possible. Objectively speaking, your staying here would be a hindrance to the mission. Kasuga-san is clearly worried about you as it is, and it would only stand to slow him down. Ultimately, 
that may end up putting Lani in danger. <clears throat> I doubt that's what you want. Lani and Haruka Sawamura are kindred spirits. When you say, "Oh man, he's just pushing every button." Haruka Sawamura. As Kiryu-san might say, she's essentially his daughter. I love how they're just like, I don't know. Once known as the girl worth 10 Ooh. billion yen, she too was a poor child hounded by man's greed. Had Kiryu-san not protected her, she would have been all but erased, and with little fanfare. Lani's no different. Even in my eyes, her situation aligns with Haruka's in many ways. You know, they're doing their best <sighs> to be like, hey, maybe you didn't play 13 so prior happen. games. Um, However, in your current condition, but you I don't think I don't yourself. think they could possibly it do take enough. A nurse to discern that, now does it? <laughs> like I don't Give think it it's rest. possible. Here you, Sana. Just take it easy for a bit. Namba said he'd go back to Japan with you. Akane-san and Lani will be okay. I swear we'll figure it out. Remember, it's not just me. I've got a dachi san Chichan, and Tomi too. Yeah, Kiryu, go so back please, home and hang out with some Koreans. Let us take it Koreans here. love Kiryu. That's the joke, by the way. They don't. They do not no. love Kiryu. It's pathetic. A guy my age forcing those younger than him to ask that. And twice. Leave it to you, huh? You're right. I've been too scared to rely on others for too long. <laughs> scared? Here you son, you. Yeah. I think I'm finally starting to realize that. <laughs> the longer your life, the more surprises. Kiryu, you, you could have had a party like Ichiban the whole time. <sighs> no kidding. All right. Sorry to ask. But Akane san and Lani need you. Will you help them, Kasuga? Everyone, we're on it. We're going to save Haruka. Ichiban. Kiri's in good hands, man. As for you, you've been through a lot. You ought to rest. Yeah, I think Yong Yi is doing a fine job. Oh my god, Wong To is here. I fucking forgot. I fucking forgot Wong To was here. Excuse me. That was rough. Regardless, you did great. Can't believe you rescued him so fast. Really. I, can, I know I can only do so much. But I'll help you look for Akane and Lani as best I can. <clears throat> Kiri's probably gonna leave and take some getting used mm -hmm. to. We'll have to work even harder. Nambo, look out for Kiri. No prop. As for me, I'm gonna think about how to spend my first night in Hawaii. Then again, it might be insensitive to go out. If that's the case, I can give it a day. Nambo, uh, oh, all right, I said that. Tell me what it's What's up. up? Sounds like everything's settled. Want to call it a day? Although if we're oh, going somewhere, I'll tag along. We got a new party member now that Dachi's here. <laughs> Kiryu lures everything to stop your mind. He's yet another person I owe my life to, and for that, I'm grateful. Be sure to repay him, though. I can't do much once I've regained control. I'll give him the best doctor there is. Bro, what the hell? We're just. You notice that, like, Kiryu, like, earned people's respect? But, like, they didn't, like, join up. They were just like, oh, he's the greatest. But, like, Kasuga here just collects villains like Pokemon. It's because he's Jesus. I can't believe I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the fucking morning for that Nintendo shit. That's where this scene is from. Akane-san and Lani need our help. Let me know when you find him. Hey, you know it. In fact, you'll be the first on the list. Aww. I'm still ripped. All right, man. You take care of yourself. Yeah. 
Pat, do you think you guys can briefly explain Haruka's backstory? I can. Well, be seeing you, Ichiban. I can do that. Uh, actually, hang on. You got a sec? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Look at you. Barely just got here. Yeah! Chichan's got you wrapped around her Yeah! Finger. Sachan's old news now, is that it? You dog. Hey, look, it's nothing like that. But besides, man, she's like 20 years younger. So than what? Do the math! Yeah, and I'm sure that's got its perks. Come on, say it with me. Chichan. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts. You know, you came all this way. It's a shame we didn't get to hang out like this. She's too old for Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> that means it's, it's good. Been fun. <laughs> that's the rules. Well, do me proud, Namba. <laughs> Always. See ya. So what this means is that Namba is the rat man of the of the pack. Namba is the guy at the bar with you going, yeah, yeah, fucker, yeah, 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 fucker. You know that huh. guy? Everyone has that friend. Dojima left everything to you. Bet you're feeling the pressure now, huh, Ichiban? <laughs> yeah. Still. <laughs> I won't let him down. I look over and I see Jonath LP going, Oh God, am I that friend? If you have to ask that question, Jonath, you are absolutely that friend. I'm sorry. You are very likely the rat man of your friend group. So, how about it? You got any more ideas for how to find those two? Don't tell me you're gonna upload another video and sit back. Hey, it's not like that was for nothing, right? For all any of us know- I thought that was Akane the end of the chapter! Him any second. Akane-san worked as the director of an orphanage. What's more, Polycana ran the place. There's a thought. Polycana folks will probably know a thing or two. We've already been there, though. We may not have known about Bryce's identity at the time, but we didn't find any clues oh, either. Oh, cool. There's a there's a, a couple this quests time, I want to do. Type. None of them um, have ties and I, to I want to finish anything. off um, Maybe so. the talky bits. Lead all the same. And it's there's the one, one quest got. I... We'll just have to go and see for ourselves. Specifically want to do. Sounds like a plan. A good cop always revisits the scene of the crime. Bye, guys. Hi. Okay. Hold on. Because some of the, the talky parts have to be during the day. Right? So there's two that I'm missing. This. Oh, three. This. And this. Oh, and this. Tell Mazawa, friend to animals! Yes, I, I'm well aware. There's a there's a beach sub story that I am violently aware is of great importance. I, I started the sub story that starts with the snow cone sand. Eat chickens after watching them run around all happy and free. But I didn't finish it. Oh, I don't know. It never really crossed my mind, man. You're the type of heartless bastard who eats seafood after visiting an aquarium, aren't you? Yeah. That's an oddly specific accusation. But I won't stand here and deny it. Maybe I'm just overthinking it? Eh, who knows? All hail Saint Tommy, friend to all animals. Friend to animals. All right. <laughs> He's sensitive. I feel like I've gotten to know them well. He love animal. He love animal. Impulse shopper Adachi, let's go. Fish are too stupid to Oh hey! How's a hike? How are you holding up, Chichan? Me? I'm doing fine. Actually, my legs are kinda sore. I will rub them. Take a breather. Could we? For you. Appreciate it. No worries. 
I'm getting thirsty out here. You're a pretty thoughtful guy, Ichiban. How do you do it? I just do what feels right. Sometimes I stick my nose in things and screw it all up. But overall, helping people is what keeps me going. Wow. In that case, could you buy me a parfait? Why does it feel like I just walked into a trap? You did, buddy. <laughs> She's got you now. I don't use the Segway because you can't pick up items while using it. So it's useless to pet. What are these Hawaiian foods? Sure are colorful. Oh. Ooh, aren't they selling dragon fruit over there? Damn. Not only does it look cool, it's also got one badass name. Is it tasty though? I would buy one anyway. It looks and sounds cool. It's like buying an album for the cover, you know? Wait, you're gonna buy something based on how it looks? Not even knowing how it tastes? Doesn't matter if it's a CD or a fruit. I just can't resist whatever catches my attention. God damn it, Adachi. You're stupid as fuck. Wait. How the heck do you eat this? Shot I figured you'd be an insult shopper, Adachi son. We're really opening up. Oh, yeah, bingos. Oh, look at them bingos. We're so close now. That's a bingo. That's a bingo. What are you Enemy saying? levels scale up by the next time you're in Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, the way that I'm planning to do tonight's stream is to basically uh, putts around here and there, hither, thither, etc. And, uh, then once I've finished hithering and thithering to go to Japan. Fuck! Fuck! It's a fucking chicken! These chickens remind me of the one I had before. What? You, you had a chicken? chicken Adachi-san? Yep. Bought one of the dyed chicks from a temple festival years ago and raised it myself. Wait, you mean you got to eat fresh eggs with your rice every oh, single on. day? Nope. It was male, so no eggs. Aw. That man. Don't tell me you ate. Well, he'd wake me up in the morning like an alarm clock. Whew. Glad he didn't end up on the grill. All right. Oh, he was friends with chicken. All complete. Yeah, fresh forever! That fucking rules! Completing the entire will trigger a walk and talk finale. Adachi's is at night. No! Oh, looks like, um... Looks like the final bond for Chitose is not available. Kasuga, let's take a break. Sure. Like at a cafe or something? Hmm. How about somewhere with good drinks and an ocean view? Seriously, man? You just want to get boozed up, don't you? All right, fine. Want to hit up Soleil then? Now we're talking. Come on, let's move. I'm on the beach. Oh, man, that guy's all oiled up. Take this, freaks. Surprise. Holy fuck. And it raises her agility? That's just a win-win. Tommy, let's do it. I want one of these beach chairs for my place. I bet I could slap one together with a little bit of canvas and some wood. Huh? You want to DIY, Tommy? Yeah, 
I can make most things that you use on the daily, like tables and shelves. Wow, so you're good with your hands. Man, Tommy the, rules! You call a bear out of wood? I love you, Tommy! Seriously? A wooden bear. I said I make stuff for daily necessities, not trinkets for tourists. But I could take a stab at it. For real? If you ever do, I would proudly put it on display. We're really oh, opening sweet. up. All complete. Best friends forever! I've been told that this beach quest is of no. I feel like I've seen so much of Hawaii in such a short amount of time. True, your ugly mug is everywhere I look these days. And it's been absolute chaos since you came to town. Let's go chill out somewhere. Sounds good to me. Let's hit up a bar. And be best friends. All right. Let's see what you got, video game. What are you looking at? The beach chair looks comfy. I've never actually sat in one of those. I am kind of worn out. Look out, chair! Screw it. How often do I enjoy resort living? Look out, chair. Oh, even comfier than I thought. This is the kind of sitting you'd expect on tropical sand. Phew. Needed this. Now to just rest my eyes. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh. I really passed out. Oh. Your voice acted. Damn. That was a good rest, though. My whole body feels refreshed. Lighter. No. Wait. I feel heavier. Up here, my head feels heavier. Deep? Sure. What? What the hell's going on up there? There's something in my hair! Deep, deep. Why the heck is there a bird in my hair? Now, oh, come on. Is this a Final Fantasy 13 reference? Stop, ow, stop it! Stop pecking me! You're really not gonna fly off? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Huh? Oh, pretty. Are these feathers from someone you know? I guess you were living up there, huh? I really love how that just sounds like a guy going cheap, 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 cheap. Look, I'm out of my element here. What should we do? Oh, I'm hungry. Guess I could keep an eye out for Mama Bird while I eat. Deep, deep. Oh, sound good to you too? All right, let's get some food. Deep, deep. So, what should I call you anyway? What's a good bird name? Oh. Maybe something American, considering where you're from. You know, I once saw this anime set overseas, and the main character's pet was named Joseph. I forget if it was a dog or bird, but not bad, right? All right, your new name is Joseph. Oh, oh, like it, do you? Okay, Joseph, let's find some food. Um. You're really not taking off, huh? Oh, kind of weird to walk around like this. Yeah, Have what anime is he talking about? I think they sell pet food at the ABC store. Let's see if I can get over there. Get to the ABC store before his neck gives out from the strain. Joseph's weight can throw Costco off balance, so it won't be easy to walk. Don't bump into people. I wonder oh. where your mama might be. Holy Yee. shit. Oh, I control like shit. I'm sure of it. After we get some food, we'll keep looking, okay? Oh, oh, I control like shit. What the hell? Sumo wrestlers? Why are they practicing outside? 
Can't get too close or Joseph and I will get flattened. Let's just get by cautiously. This bird, it feels like it weighs like a thousand pounds. folks on the street right now need to be careful where I walk deep I not if I bump into mm. anyone keeping my balance like this is way harder than it looks mm. Ugh, I can barely walk straight I did it Made it somehow. Aloha. Hey, got a hungry little fella here. You carry any food in my life? Little fella? <sighs> Chirp. Oh. <laughs> ha, okay, I see now. Cute customer. Give me a sec. Thanks for waiting here. I blended up some nut pellets. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Thanks. Thanks. That's good eating. Appreciate it. Well, how about we find a place to sit down? Oh my god, he's talking about Heidi, girl of the Alps? Oh my god, what a fucking poll. Holy shit. Chirp. <laughs> Belly full, Joseph. Oh, of course he would have had to seen it before he fucking went to prison. Oh. Of. Jesus, you didn't even leave my hair to eat. I'll be washing on crumbs for a week, I bet. <sighs> oh crap! I forgot to get food for myself, but I still need to get back on the hunt for this guy's mom. What to do? <laughs> Chirp. Well, no point standing around. Guess I'll try looking for Mama Bird while I find myself some food, too. Huh? Whoa, what the hell? Those feathers. Joseph, is that your mom? Chirp. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> he. Well, guess my work here is done. Mother and child reunited. I wonder why she flew off in the first place. Got her. Over here. This way. What the fuck, dude? Mm -hmm. Piss off, Fro Top. You're getting in the way of business. What business is that? That parrot's a rare breed. Going after it to uh, protect it. Huh? Now move. No. Protect it from what? Assholes and ugly vests? Let me guess. You two are the ones who knocked it down their old nests, aren't you? Not your concern, pal. We ain't lying. We're gonna treat it well. Only the highest quality taxidermy job. Golden pair like that? Can't risk damaging it with sloppy shooting. Poachers. You two are filth. Squawk. Huh? Hey, boss. He's got the baby. You catch that one to plump it up? It'll be worth even more than the mom. <laughs> oh, oh. Our lucky day. One in hand and one in the bush. Hey, <laughs> ha, Look, I promise those birds will end up with nice collectors. Just give us the chicken and walk away. And if I don't, huh? then we'll blast you open and take the bird ourselves. Just try it. I'd rather keep this bird in my hair for the rest of my life than give him to you. I'll tell you. And everyone else is here too. Okay. Level nine. Oh man, I'm uh, a little behind on these uh, side quests. <sighs> God, what the hell? Damn it! Retreat. Yo. Hey, what? I don't even want to find you poaching again. Try it and you'll have us to answer to. Squawk. Fine, you win. I renounce my ways. Oh, I skipped over our best line. I'm so That was a close one. Tweet. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> Nice work, you two. I hope you make a great new nest together, safe and sound. 
Or... Hmm? Huh? Hey, Joseph, don't tell me you missed my hair already. Well, I know what it's like not to have a home. I can't just turn my back to you. <laughs> Let's figure this out. Chirp. I don't care how much he weighs or shits. What? Really? There. Not bad, huh? From now on, you can stay right here. So, Joseph, how do you like it? Do you like home? <laughs> nice, nice. Music to my ears. You can stay as long as you want, and nobody's gonna come after you here. And your mom can rest easy knowing how much you love this kind of spot. Uh, wait, where'd mama go? Ah! Uh. Ah! Like mama, like bird, I guess. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah. Oh, yeah. All right, well, there's two quests back to back that I should be able to... Lifeguard spot? You mean this? Healing group. Check, check, what, what? Check with bird? Hey, get over here. Hold on, man. I gotta, I gotta go talk to him. I apparently have to talk to the fucking bird. Thanks. Jesus Christ. Unless you all are already a locked samurai, maybe walked a bit. I don't know. I haven't done that many quests, I'll be honest. So let it snow, by the way. A guy's been running around throwing uh, snow cones into the air because uh, he wants his, his dying wife to see snow for the last time before she dies. That's that's what you need to know about what where let it snow is at right now. Ah, my baby! Huh? Holy shit! Somebody save him! Oh, this- Oh! Fuck really? that! Wait, what? What the fuck? Why is it? Why? What? I'll get you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this went from harrowing to to, to goop ball in like a second. Oh my God. I gotta get that stroller, bro. Okay in there? Oh, Kasuga san, wasn't it? How about that? <laughs> you saved me. Uh, 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 what? Aren't you? My name is Susumu Gonawa. I fucking can't. Seems my men God to do some damn it. Me. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. I ran into this Yakuza boss once at a specialty club back in the Gene Show. He and his whole clan were into dressing up like babies. The Gondawara family? Was that them? Right. What are you doing here, sir? I'm here with the kids on vacation, of course. Gondawara family has an excellent benefits package. And what better place to get pampered than in paradise? 
I was just enjoying a baby's day out with this lovely sitter I found. Suddenly, my stroller starts strolling off on its own terms, you believe it? I can steer it a hair. They don't make these things Oh my breaks. god, that... They Hell, even got... Even made a big old baby like me damn near wet himself. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad you're safe, sir. Catch you later. Ooh, wait, hold on a second. I told you this thing's no luxury sedan. Stroll me back to Mama, Nanny Lillian. Baby's scared. <laughs> Baby needs you. I got fucking got so bad. <sighs> this really isn't why I came to Hawaii. I got like that's about Boss. as sick bastard. What kind of monster kidnaps a baby? What? No, I didn't. I'm the one who rescued him. Tell them. <laughs> Come on, nap time now? Can't you just drop the baby routine for one second? Let's tuck this streak in, boys, permanently. Damn it! How did it come to this? The the the, the, this this quest line is the fucking equivalent of um, Paul Rudd showing that fucking clip of the kid going off a cliff in the wheelchair on Conan. Like it's always he's always gonna do it, but like I don't know when it's gonna happen. I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I got got so bad. I got got so bad. Ugh, huh. What happened? Rise and shine. Yep. Sorry, I always tuck her out after I get my milk. Miss anything? You mean besides all your men taking me for a baby napper? What'd you say? Shit for brains. Costco, hey, you're just saved. My powdered ass. Sorry, boys. Uh. Stuff your sir or ease up your diapers. Get out of here and get some more milk on the double. Boss, it's been hard to find fresh milk around here. Ugh, useless. Fine, condensed milk I have to do. They top shave ice with that, right? Get us some of that instead. Right away, sir. Uh -huh. I forgot that the oh my god they set up the snow part of the quest specifically to fucking swerve me incredible incredible <clears throat> sorry it's an emergency I need to buy some ice hmm? I know him what are you doing here Orlando oh. Oh, Kostika, I can explain. Uh -huh. I get it. So your wife... Oh, fuck this. I can't. I'm being fucking mentally attacked. So your wife is sick and wants to see snow? Yes. Doctor said tonight's gonna be him. She might not make it. No more time to wait for other options. Damn. Ooh. I said I'd help you, but I've been so caught up in everything else. Ugh. All right, all right. Take it easy, Casca. Sorry. It's okay. I still appreciate knowing that you care. Hmm? What's up? Hmm. It's beautiful. Almost looks like snow. Yep. That's diaper. Oh,
I, I, I could not in a million years have ever been able to predict this. Must be reacting to the water from the shaved ice. Wonder how it got there. Maybe when you beat up the idiot kids, some of their diapers ripped up because, because... And that's what it looks like when the inside's mixed with water? Guess so. Diapers got this cottony powder in them to absorb liquid. Once it's wet, it fluffs up like snow. Wait a sec, like snow, huh? I see. Maybe we... Maybe you could use this? It's basically as good as real snow, right? Sure, but there's not much. Nope. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Huh? My crew left Japan with a full ass load of dipes. We got stuck for days. Full ass load of dipes. How could anyone complain about this localization? It's incredible. An ass load? Yep. You betcha. Clean diaper, happy baby. Had to make sure we were prepared in case we wanted to extend our stay. Guess that makes sense. Are you sure? Those diapers are important to you all, right? Costco, baby plays about the joy of reverting back to a time when you had no cares or obligation. At the end of the day, we know it's just fantasy. We're men, men of honor. We respect people's dying dreams. Ain't that right, boys? Yes, sir! <laughs> gondwara song. you're a real man after all. Costco, Mr. Gondwara, I don't know what to say. You heard the boss, go be with your wife and leave the snow to us. Give her a winter wonderland, trust Thank me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I have to actually... I literally, I literally have to go help with my own real human baby instead of these old man babies. I'll be back shortly. Excuse me. Hey, hey, Deathurious. Hey, motherfucker. Don't you boo my fucking baby. I'll fucking fight you. My baby's better than you. All right, I'll be right back. Excuse me.
go. Let's go.
go. Yellow, I've returned. Hello, welcome back, everyone. <sighs> Paige, don't worry, the person who booed your baby has been dealt with. I fought them. I fought them in the street. I have to admit, I've never been sure what to make of you, Gondawara-san. You've definitely earned my respect, though. And I've got to admit, tearing up a fresh diaper is tantamount to blasphemy. Never consider it otherwise. But seeing the length that man is willing to go for his wife, can't be a baby in the face of that. <laughs> Time to grow up. <laughs> huh. A little while, anyway. All right, boys, back to the hotel. Grab all your spare diapers. I want every last one of them. Sir. Okay, Kasuga, we're staying at the hotel near Suicide. Meet us okay. there when you're ready. Wait, there's more. There's more. Really? No. No. I thought I was done. Kotska, we're all diped up here. Ready to make it snow? Ready. Let's do it. What the fuck? Hi, I'm here, Ellie. How are you feeling? Mm. Uh, I met a nice man while I was out today. A uh, castle guy, his name is. He's from Japan. Oh, he was willing to hear me go on and on about everything. Never laughed or made fun. In fact, he even wanted to help. You know, there was nothing in it for him, but he still wanted to make the world a bit better. Like some noble prince out of a storybook. Hey, you'd laugh if you saw him. He doesn't exactly look or carry himself like royalty. <laughs> huh. Wonder if I was ever that good to anyone. Ellie, was I ever a prince to you? I spent so much time working. I could have spent it with you. I should have. It was supposed to be time now. That was the deal. But a prince wouldn't have made you wait. Oh. It's too hot in here. I'll open the window, okay? <laughs> You're always my prince, from the first day we ever met. Ellie? Thank you. There were times you were gone longer than I wanted, but I always felt you with me. Your kindness and your love. I knew working because you loved me. You wanted to provide. I was never alone. As long as I had that. Ellie. 
Now don't look so sad. It's beautiful. <sighs> Thank you, Kasuga. Mr. Gondawara. Gondawara family, let's do it. This, this is some hard work, I know, but it's worth it. Yeah! Boss, what if we run out of diapers? Dumb question. If it comes down to it, we'll use the ones we got on to. Even if we end up ass cheek naked, we're seeing this through. Yes, yes sir, sir. I can't believe it. It's just as beautiful as our trip to Japan. It's really snow. Orlando, you're not just a prince. You're a magician. Oh, you, you got that right. For you, I could do anything. I made snow fall in Hawaii. So then, ask me for something else. Anything at all. Just, just say the word. No, it's enough. You've already made me the happiest woman in the world. Thank you. No. Oh. No, 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 there's got to be something more. I, I can... I, I can... Uh... I only have one last wish. Anything! Will you smile? I want to see your smile again before I fall asleep. Surrounded by beautiful snow, I would hate for my prince to look unhappy. Please, for me. Of course, anything. You deserve it all. Good night, my love. Ellie. I think the snow is melting. Oh. Did it work? Did we grant her wish? I'm sure of it. We gave them a miracle tonight. Somehow. You're right. <laughs> we just made it snow in Hawaii. That is the most violent tonal whiplash I've ever felt in my entire life. Surprising that Hawaii's got so many temples and shrines. That is, uh, that yeah. is legitimately yeah. unbelievable. Huh. So that's why so many things seem Japanese-ish? Would you believe Hawaii's even got fun dancing? Regional teams and everything. They take it pretty seriously. Bond dancing? With teams? No kidding. We should stop. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, K. Line up! Team Kasuga! Let's win this thing! Never takes much to light a fire under you, does it? Why do I get the feeling Ichi's a mainstay at Bond Festival? He's about to take Hawaii by storm. Yup, can't disagree. I, I can't. Holy shit! Tommy just got maxed out! Do I have any chance of beating the fight for Tomy? <sighs> yes, let's fucking do it.
Oh, you beat it at 26? I can do it! I can do it! Time to put our feet up. Hey, girl. To Donko Island? Oh, yeah! Hi. <laughs> I have a hundred <laughs> friends. <laughs> oh. Dragon boots. Hell yeah. Thanks. Okay. See you, Nara. God. Right, read those. Legendary footwear invoking the power of magnificent dragon. All right. Let's drink it and link it, Tommy. Yo, Tommy. Hey. Drinking alone again? Can I scooch in? Absolutely. I was hoping you swing by. Anything new going on? Ah. I've avoided This is probably going to be the last thing I do because I got to wake up at fucking 5 a.m. So tomorrow morning. Thomas? Hey, Thomas. It's me. Huh? Thomas who? Oh shit, that's Kondo. Let's kill him! Kondo? Marie's Kondo? Listen, Ichiban, he only knows me as Thomas. Gotta back me up. Yeah, sure. Thomas, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> I was just passing by and saw you through the window. Uh, pardon me, are you together? <laughs> we sure are! Uh, I I'm Thomas's friend, Kasuga! Kondo, nice to meet you. Thomas and I had a drink together the other day. Oh, which reminds me, Thomas, it must be my turn to treat you now, mustn't it? Oh, he's actually Shall like really I take chill. Another drink order, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, Thomas. Uh, is is he buying? Thomas. I'm happy to cover you both, Thomas. Thomas. Stop saying Thomas, everyone, please. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Kondo. I'm busy right now. Uh, some other time, yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. Why don't you give me your number? I told you before, I'm sure Marie would love to meet nah, you. No, we're not going to do that. She was beside herself when I explained how this kind stranger showed me around town. Oh, that sounds great, No, but my number's, uh, um, hmm. Um, have I offended you somehow, Thomas? I certainly didn't mean to. Oh, this sucks that he's so chill. Actually, Kondo, can we talk outside for a minute? Oh, well, what for? This bar is lousy with eavesdroppers, you know? <laughs> yeah, nosy types. This sucks that he's a good guy. I hate it. <laughs> Excuse me. Watch your step, young man. Huh? Fuck you say to me? Oh, fuck. Oh, whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Uh, my friend Kondo is very sorry. Ah, uh, that's what he meant. What? You saw Thomas, they strode right into me. In fact, it seemed rather deliberate. Next thing you know, they'll be shaking us down. Hey, buddy. No, you Don't can't do this, more Kondo. trouble, right? Just uh, stand back. It might shock you, but I'm a black belt in karate. Wait, are you? Yeah. What are you doing? Man, are, aren't you getting married soon? Don't, don't don't get caught up in this. You want Marie to suffer through that again? Hey, d no. Oh, you fucking again? idiot. What's this again? Oh, you fucking idiot. Oh, tree, you need to shut the hell up. And this guy needs to apologize. Let's get that wallet out, jerk off. My patience is only getting more expensive. We got it, okay? One second, just stay cool. I refuse, Thomas. These thugs have no right to anything of mine. I'm about to take your head off too, bro. Just listen to him, Kondo Sander. Tommy's only trying to help oh, you Oh, you idiot. Huh? Tommy? Yeah, it's short for Thomas. Like Say it's short Let for Thomas. Thomas. Okay, you stay back. Yo, dumbass! I'm that karate jerk off's boss, got it? You come settle up with me. Thomas! Clear out of here, Kondo, and don't come find me again. This is... This is my quarrel, not yours. Tell Marie that Thomas wishes her well, all right? We got it all from here. Stay safe, Kondo-san. 
No more jowing assholes. Time to make you bleed. Die it like you, Ron. Let's do it. It's just me. Just me and Tony. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here I come. Fish. Let's get it done. Break yourself. Yeah, he's knocked out. Wow, those are incredible. Babies! Might want to drink XP and money drinks. Nah, I'm good. Let's get it done. Wait. You can battle status? What would that even be? Oh. I get it. Spare me. Spare me. Well, oh, he's really good. Here I come. That's picking time. Open one. Hey, Gene, what's up, man? I just killed that motherfucker. 22,000! Who knew I had it in me? <sighs> oh, I kind of feel bad it came to this. Hey, dummies. Quit running that scam. We'll always be around to kick your ass. <sighs> and Karate Jerkoff never sees any of you again. You got it? Is that clear? Up, dude? God damn it. How many times do I have to tell you to get lost, man? Thomas. Oh my god damn, I'm god not damn it. Whoever it is you think I am. Just small time ex Yakuza, okay? Why don't we move on from each other's lives? It'll be better for us both. <laughs> but I <laughs> but but these guys in the fucking background. This is the last thing I'm ever gonna say to you. Huh? Okay, Kondo san. From now on, every stupid risk you take comes back to Marie. So like just now, getting into some needless fight, all it'll do is cause her pain. So maybe you get seriously injured. Or they do. Maybe the police come and smash your whole life to bits. You are lucky enough not to be living for yourself anymore. You have someone by your side. So, please? All right. I understand. <sighs> Thank you. Another day, another mess I drag you into. Sorry. <laughs> no sweat. You know, Marie is everything to me. Same as she was to you, I reckon. Although, until now, I couldn't have known how sincere your feelings were, Thomas. Or, well, Tomizawa san. What? You call him? What the hell's going on? I hired these young men before coming. 
Our little accident and our heated exchange arranged in advance. Oh my god. Thank you, boys. Meet me where we said earlier, and you'll receive full compensation. <laughs> sure thing, Mr. Kondo. Whew. These guys were no joke, though. <laughs> Kondo, I, I don't understand. I'm truly sorry. This was all a sort of test, Tomizawa-san. Do you recall the circumstances of our first meeting? Your offer to help me when I was lost? Y yeah what you mistook as an opportunity to assist me of your own volition was simply a performance. Because, in fact, by that time I already knew of you. Marie's former partner. Oh my god. imprisoned in a random act of injustice. But, uh, you're kidding! Marie told me Hawaii was Dude, home Dude, I blew to those guys up with bombs. Regret. Are you fucking serious? Of course, that's none other than you, Tony Zawasan. She didn't want to leave without saying goodbye. So... Marie knows that I talked to you? Yes. I couldn't very well deny her request to see you again before our departure. However, your underworld connections, that Yamai fellow in particular, was worrying to me. Quite a pickle. My dear Marie deserves to see whomever she likes. Yet I feared that she'd expose herself to danger in doing so. And so you decided to play us like chumps? Because Tomi needed his medal tested? <sighs> yes. I can only hope you'll forgive me. It's weird that I, I have to tell you that Yamai is actually cool. I guess I got no real leg to stand on here. I was lying to you too. So, Kondo-san, what's your verdict on Tomi after all that? Tomizawa-san, I realize, has no reason in the world to care for me. Let us not mince words, he is still in love with my fiance. Despite that, however, he was willing to shield me from violence at a cost of his own well-being. For Marie's sake, anyway. Again, Tomizawa-san, I ask that you forgive my part in this farce. You are a respectable man. Holy shit. Who's that? Marie? Mind if we give him a few, Kondo-san? Mm. Yo, still hanging out, Ichiban? Yeah. So, Marie will be able to leave without any regrets now? I think so. Man, it's time to Kondo get is not as much fucking as drunk. She said in so many words. That's good. And she's happy. I could tell. That's the best I can ask for. Guess so. I owe you a lot, Ichiban. And once again, you have seen my ass through hell. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> and before I met you, leaving Yamai's outfit was just a dream. And I you know, I know it's a minor detail, but the my reflective effects on people's glasses right and the fact that it breaks <laughs> depth of field much. on the background is such There's an incredible touch. There's nothing I can touch. say to express how grateful I am. So just drink all you want. It's on me. <laughs> Problem is, I know your financial situation too well. How about one? Bro, we just got twenty-two thousand dollars off those guys. If you insist. Bartender, here. It's that? like grand I'll larceny. Take a glass of your finest. I see. Coming right up. Is that okay, Tommy? <laughs> of course it is. You, you worried about me? Hey, Tap John, I'll have the same. Oh, you're damn stubborn. <laughs> Times like this are when good drinks are worth it. Seriously. Thank you, Ichiban. You've changed my life for the better. <laughs> Cheers! Oh. Oh. There's a wait, there's a new costume? Oh, and Adachi's got one. Yo, sup, Adachi san? Hey! Actually, I talked to the bartender earlier. Huh? Oh, about Akiko san's shop. You had him check whether or not it's in Hawaii, right? Yep, that's right. Turns out he couldn't find anything. 
bummer. Oh man, sorry to hear that. But you don't know for sure, right? That's not like he combed through every grain of sand on the island. He's talked to a fair share of people though, so honestly, I've pretty much given up already. Why are you trying to reach out to this person? Sometimes you end up finding what you're looking for after you forget about it. Maybe now's just not the right time? Yeah, I guess so. I did just get here, and other people have been doing the groundwork for me. I'll keep an eye out in town, see if there are any jewelry shops around from now on. Thanks. But there's something I gotta tell you. Oh, what's up? Oh, Akiko-san might consider me as nothing more than a nuisance. Aww. Why is that? Well, to tell you the truth, 20 years ago, when the shop got robbed, the police... Nope. Why did you spoil the concept of the thing he was going to tell me five seconds before he told me? Like, the timing is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Could have prevented it entirely. Prevented? Like, it wasn't like a full How? link ahead. It was like five a seconds before, incident, before he said police it. Police received a report claiming suspicious individuals were visiting the shop. And the person who filed the report was just a high schooler at the time. That's really Aki fucking son. Oh, dang. Uh, but there's not much the police can do when you tell them someone's acting suspicious. Exactly. Even though she came all the way to the station, they couldn't take her at her word. And to them, she was just a kid. As for her parents, well, and their daughter took yeah, it so they, seriously. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like want to apologize too. This, this is to total bullshit. Oh, so, because none of the adults believed her, nobody stopped the robbery from happening. Well, I learned that Akiko san had stopped by the station. Do you ever before. get the feeling that, like, Japanese teenagers. She told me that a man even more would than teenagers in, in some other week, countries feel like they have absolutely no agency over their lives at all. Hard, intense stare. Like he was Japanese media has this incredible fascination Ooh, yeah, with like just sketchy. adults just completely <sighs> ignoring take action, everyone under the age of like 25. What we could do is have more personnel patrolling the area, and even then we couldn't keep it up for days on end. So, because the police didn't do jack squat. A group of thieves broke in days later. And one of them was the guy Akiko-san mentioned? Yep. He was their ringleader. Damn. At the time of the crime, Akiko-san wasn't in the shop, but both her parents were. Evicta says there got to be some truth to it. Gagged. Yeah, no, you get through, like, you play through a bunch of Phoenix Wright games, injuries. and you're like, I think the people who made the these games told. think that the legal system is a farce. The criminals were behind bars. And, and then you're like, oh, they do good. think the legal system is a farce. Oh, man. That's awful. Akiko-san was pissed the police didn't lift a damn finger. And I don't blame her. She played her best hand, but her folks still ended up in danger. Well, what exactly did she tell you? You took a report about what happened, right? No, something like, I told you this would happen, but the police refused to believe a word I said. I can't imagine that was easy to hear. Well, when you're a detective, you make plenty of bitter memories. This was just a drop in the bucket. Then you want to meet Akiko-san to apologize for the incident? I'm not so sure myself. Huh. I just want to know if she's all right more than anything else. If I didn't happen to be in Hawaii, I never would have even considered it. Yes, the only way to find out is to actually meet her. Yeah, I guess so. I'll try to get in touch with my old contacts from back in the day later. You know, ask him if Akiko-san really does run a shop here in Hawaii, or if someone knows someone familiar with it. Wait, what? You haven't done that yet? Well, I, I wouldn't be able to take it if by some small chance her life was in a shambles. That's why I put off the investigation. Uh, yeah, I feel you, man. Well, you know... After spilling my guts out to you, I feel like I could be a bit more expressive with my feelings from now on. <laughs> Glad to hear. Some Asian dude says, wasn't Adachi's drink like in seven also a time he fucked up as a detective? He's like right? 65. <laughs> Maybe so. Um, 
Who would have thought? Even if you're the most well-meaning police officer in the world, boy, you're gonna fuck up a lot. And when you fuck up in that profession, it, people's lives are... are negatively affected. Very strongly. Very big strongly. Alright, this... The guy who saves the, the lemon kid. Oh, uh, this fucking thing. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's... Let's see if I can beat that stupid YouTuber and then I'm gonna call it a night. I'd like to beat up that YouTuber, please. Huh. That's weird. What is? Oh, in the new outfit. The internet crapped out on my phone. So is this the Oh, is he still world? too powerful? I don't know. It just won't connect all of a sudden. Damn thing was fine till now. Yeah, sometimes the signal gets spotty, depending on the place. Yeah, with no internet? It's like I'm cut off from the rest of humanity. You're not cut off from anyone. You got us, pal. Just think yeah, of Gene, times. I was thinking that as I came here. This is where Gene Park used to buy drugs. This exact spot. Uh, you know, I think Ichiban was this being exact really spot. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. I wasn't listening. Repeat that, would you? Just forget it. Aw, you two are such good friends. Oh, cute. Hello. Hey. Okay, so we already did this a little while ago. Uh, and I got my fucking ass wrecked. <laughs> so I'm just gonna skip past it and beat him up. I'm gonna beat him up. I'm gonna beat him. This should be fun. The battle is on. Fuck, I probably should have saved. Oh, he's 26. Oh, he's done for, bitch. Here I go. Wow, those boots are incredible. Here I go. Let's get it done. And kicking time. Break yourself. Give me a new move. So you do improve plenty. The new you stuff as nails. Still not enough. Don't know how you get better every time. Can't tell you've been training your ass off though. Yeah, it wasn't until our last fight that it hit me. If it only polishing my image, not my skill. I had to change. Four I was only beating down weaklings. That kind of thing gets old. Just one meaningless smackdown after another. When you and I fought, I felt something I hadn't felt in forever. I was energized. I remember why I started fighting in the first place. To feel a lot. <laughs> huh, you really have made a 180. Good for you, man. Hey, you think my viewers will notice the difference too? Mm -hmm. What? You still making videos? Oh, hell yeah. Take our previous match. It's my most popular video yet. Huh? You feeling on that? Yeah, didn't I tell you? Uh, don't trip. I made sure your face is blurred out. Privacy rights. <sighs> like I just had any privacy on the internet. Whatever. What are people saying about our fight? I think my fans are enjoying it. I had to put out all the stops only to lose, but I think that's exactly why I made such a thrill. And it turns out people like the serious competition better. They feel more from it, like I did. So don't go thinking this is over. I still got training to do, techniques to master, and then we'll have a finale. Once I beat you in front of millions of viewers, it'll be the ultimate comeback. A fitting end to an epic saga, wouldn't you say? <laughs> got all planned out, huh? Hope you don't mind if I put my own spin on it. Not okay. for me to try. All right, then. Found you at last, Asakura! Oh, no! Oh, he's evil! Heart of a champion. All right, let's head out to Allo Happy. Fucking evil influencers, man. You gotta be careful of that shit. Alright. Let's see what we got. What suit? Oh, you finally unlocked mm -hmm. it. Hey. Get it? It's like a You look like shit. Is much of this is group. What suits me? Oh, does it come in my side? What suits me? Okay. Eh, yeah, nothing works for me. These are all the DLC craps. 
Huh? I got oh, does days. it have to be for Cabby? Oh, it's casino? I need a makeover. Hold on. Yeah, nothing works for me. Why? And also normal swimsuit. I feel like normal swimsuit is like a lot things. better for Aquanaut. But if I want to look stupid, I which I do. I got juicy tastes. I do want it to look stupid. That's the problem. I do want to see it look stupid. All right, folks. I got an early fuck day tomorrow. I got a fuck. Oh, I'm so mad. Stupid Nintendo. Think they're so good because they have video games people give a shit about. Damn it. Oh. All right. Let's thank some people. The people is you. Thanks, everybody who showed up today and tomorrow. All right. But also, hey. <sighs> Kuningas kicked in a sub. If I take a nap, you'll be here in eight hours so I don't have to miss my pet. Why, thank you. Blast your boots. What the fuck? <laughs> Blast your boots, you have wrote, written this in the strangest way possible. Not that, no, not apologies for sharing sadness. Just the, the phrasing is so blunt, it hit me like a choo-choo train. Blastio Boots kicked in five bucks to say, Autistic. Last year, new chronic illness made me stop meds that dulled my texture issues. Petting my dogs, my hands burn and have to scrub dog oil off my hands ASAP. When I realized I haven't enjoyed petting my dogs for a year, I sobbed. That's terrible, man. But you still but you still enjoy petting your dogs because you love them, right? I understand what you mean about the dog oil. I also wash my hands after I smooch on dog. But that's because he's stinky. I didn't know there were meds that that had like mitigated texture issues. Huh. Sheep person kicked in us up. Thank you, sheep person. I hope that chronic illness turns around. Or at least you get a new medicine situation. I'm sorry, Blasted. And Not Soy kicked in a sub to say, ba Babby retrieved, but not the Babby you were thinking of. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and Jigo Kuro kicked in a sub. If you thought they were pushing, filling, and curious pass for new players but failing, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. So Gene's in the chat talking about how Bandai Namco is still marketing for... Um, Elden Ring, I would be under the, so the From Software owns the Elden Ring IP, but I bet you Bandai Namco still has some kind of agreement with them in terms of advertising and publishing it for the first game's life, but not if they were to do more Elden Ring or Elden Ring spinoff. Or what have you. Right? Alright, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed now. Okay. Pack and go to bed now. Okay, bye bye now. I'll see you tomorrow morning for Nintendo. Can you see the excitement? Oh, my fucking eye is drifting. That looks like shit. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.